All right, so in this video, what we're going to do is use a layer mask to take out a background. So I showed you how to kind of cut things out, but this is a trick that you want to use if you want to non-destructively edit a photo. That means you're not going to destroy a photo. You're just going to take its background away so that it's still in there if you wanted to use it later, but it's, it's way to go. So what I've got here and what you've got in Canvas is this Sports Illustrated cover from May of 2007. It's a special edition. You can use it. You can search your own magazine cover. You can make your own magazine cover. We've, we've gone over enough stuff to help you get to that point. The next thing you want to do is you want to go into uh, your file menu, and you want to go into Place Embedded, that image of the runner that is on Canvas as well. So I'm going to Place, and now you see that I have this uh, image pop up. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger because it's a pretty big image. But we want to just take this guy and remove the background. But you see there's so much in the background. We don't need them in the background, okay? So what we're going to do is the way that you can cut things out the easiest is to use the pen tool, just like we did in that very first Photoshop assignment uh, where we're using the pen tool to cut the football player out. So you're just going to go around and edit him and get, all, get the pen tool right along the edge all the way around. So I'm going to super speed through that, and I'll catch back up with you in just a second. Okay. So... Once you have them all selected with your pen tool, what you want to do is come to the paths area in the layers panel, and we see we have this work path, and we're going to go down to uh, this option that is load path as a selection. We're going to click it. Now you see that it's a selection all the way around this man. So what I want to do now is I want to make sure that I have my runner layer selected, okay? And I'm going to hit the layer mask button down at the bottom. It's the square with a hole in the center. And so you see that takes all of the background out. And now we just have uh, our runner sitting on top of our magazine cover. So that was really good. That's awesome. We, we got it the way we wanted to look. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to add a new layer. That's going to be layer one. We're going to drag it all the way to the bottom. I'm going to just retitle it BG for background. And in the background, I'm just going to dump blue paint just like that. Uh, and then we can start adding a couple new layers in. I'm going to use my brush tool. I'm going to get a really dark color here and make my brush really small and I'm just going to come in and add a couple details underneath here uh, and don't worry how it looks right now we're going to make this look a little bit better okay and then I want to use make sure I layer one select I'm going to make sure that's like I'm going to turn the opacity way down and I'm going to come back with my eraser tool. And you see my opacity is down on my eraser tool. And I'm just going to whoop. I'm going to go around this edge and kind of disappear the edge of the shadow a little bit. So it looks like it's fading out. Okay, because in Photoshop you want things to look uh, as natural as we can to make it so that the images don't look too Photoshopped. <laughs> you don't want to make it painfully obvious that it's not a real shadow, you know. So there you go. Got a little shadow down there. If you really want to get into the technical side, we can take and select it uh, with the selector tool. We can rotate it. Okay. Uh, and then get it right where you want it, just like that. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to come in to the very top. Uh, select your runner again. We can add a new layer. That's going to be layer two, and we want to add some text to it. Uh, and we're just going to put a little title right here. I'm going to go Boston Marathon Complete Success. Okay. Yeah, 
Okay, so I'm going to say Boston Marathon winner tells all. We're going to come into our character panel really quick because I want to take my spacing down so that it's closer together. So this is my letting. Letting is the space between lines. So I want to take that down to where it's even. I'm also going to, in my paragraph panel right here, I'm going to click on right line so it's there. And then we're going to make this block text because that's what Sports Illustrated uses. Uh, so right there. And then we kind of want to make this look like the Sports Illustrated logo. So what I'm going to do, and this is something we haven't done yet, is I'm going to come in and I'm going to click on my text panel over, my text layer over here, double click, and it's going to bring up your layer style. So then it has this big box with a lot of options. Okay, so I'm going to try to get it out of your way uh, the best I can. I'll move it back and forth. So we want to have a color overlay. And if you see what I did there, color overlay getting checked on and off, that's going to put another color on top of whatever you have. So as long as you have something on the layer, it'll have a color on top of it. And I want to use this box right here to change my color. So that's going to bring up a color picker overlay color box. So now I can take my eyedropper anywhere on the page. I can click on it, it's going to match that exact color. Okay, now if you look right here, there's a drop shadow behind there. Okay, so there's a little shadow right behind the words. So that means that we want to have a drop shadow down here. Now, what we're going to do since I can't really use this box to see that, I can see this. So I can take and I want to make my opacity 100, I want to make sure that I'm at a uh, full, full black color. Um, and you can use this box right here. Uh, in the bottom right of our layer style box to see kind of where it's at. So if you look, this angle is kind of coming off this way. So we're going to go at 120 flat, 130 uh, right here. And then we want to make sure that the distance is very close. It's very close right there. We also want to make sure that the spread is very close. We're going to take the spread all the way down to zero. And we're going to take the size down to zero as well. It's going to give us the best look. We're going to have our distance is five pixels, not very far. So now, look, you can see that's still a little bit too far. So we need to bring our size back or our distance back in to one. Uh, and that's going to give us the best look we have right here. Actually, the color, we can go in and you can actually get right up on that right there. Give a little red tint to it, and boom, you're done. Look at that. Boston Winathon, Marathon winner tells all. All right. You're good to go. Make sure you export and turn this in to our uh, to our layer mask assignment page.